What's going on guys? It's Mad Man Plant. We are at the Canterbury's Festival and I actually got the owner. Welcome. How are you? I'm I'm doing great. Thanks for uh thanks for uh coming out on. Well, thanks for having us on a last minute request to come out. This is an awesome event. So Talk to me a little bit about the land, about Canterbury's, what you got in your hand. Sure, sure. Yeah, well, Canterbury's, uh, Canterbury started back in 2019 uh, as just a, an opportunity to, uh, to give our hand at growing hemp. And we fell in love with it. And uh, by the end of our first harvest in 2019, it was something that we thought we could get our, our our hands around. Prior to that, we were a livestock farm. Oh, very cool. Okay, so that's some tradition. Yeah, yeah. So we were we were we've been farming for about eleven years. Okay. And uh, in 2019, New Year's Eve, my daughter was diagnosed with cancer. Oh wow. Okay. And so you know, getting into this hemp industry and finding out the medicinal value of hemp. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Especially you know that the CBD part. Um, just changed our lives and we just decided at that moment we were all in and by may of 2020 we had sold all of our livestock and uh and 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 here we are here we are today this is our fifth grow season um and every year we get better and better at cultivation um we do outdoor cultivation a little bit of indoor and uh, it just it, it and it's presented really in all, in all of our products like you were talking about this pineapple yeah, yeah. dream um this is our first uh soiree into uh what's called ultrasonic nano emulsification okay and so we're able to take that oil and, and make it water soluble drop it in a seltzer uh, add a little bit of flavor we call this zero 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 calories zero alcohol zero sugars wow uh, there's three ingredients in this can um and it tastes great and the cool thing about about water soluble is you're going to feel the feelings the effects in 10 to 15 minutes wow yep so why is it important to take it off just the the harvest and then put it into a can. Why do you want to innovate some stuff like that? One of our objectives, especially in what we call the cannabis movement, and that that that's anything cannabis, CBD, THC, uh, we love it all. Yeah, it yeah. all has its place, both medicinally and recreationally. And our, our goal was to really uh, determine um, what ways to introduce cannabinoids into the human body. And so we start off, of course, we make, we cultivate excellent flour. And then we, we have a, uh, a patented uh, CO2 solventless extraction machine in the lab. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to take a look at that. We have not. We'll have to take um, a tour at some point. It's really one of three that we know, that we're aware of in the country that can wow. do a uh, solventless uh, CO2 extraction. So no alcohol is ever in, uh, used. It's from right from the raw material right into uh, our products. Wow. And we started off with flour, then we went into the oils. We do a lot of sublinguals. Of course, that got us into the topicals. We do uh, some amazing topicals, both with CBD uh, as a primary cannabinoid, as well as CBG. Okay. So we actually grow a lot of CBG. We're finding out that that has some, a very high impact in the medical uh, community in terms of uh, combating uh, ant, uh, inflam inflammatory uh uh, issues, yeah. right? And then we thought, okay, well, we may not like a sublingual. We're not really a big a fan of. Uh, we're not really a big fan of of uh, edibles. Yeah, yeah. They just the bioavailability of those is the poorest. And so, well, how else can we get more of an instant reaction to cannabinoids? And ultrasonic nano emulsification is the way to do it. Yeah. So if you if you drink this, your your body. Uh, identifies it as water and it's absorbed through the stomach wall instead of digested and put through your liver. Hmm. And so that's why we decided to, to bring the can out uh, and sell seltzers. This is one, we plan on rolling out three more flavors uh, sometime towards the end of the year, first part wow, of 2024. Wow, new flavors coming your way. So to bring this all back to your daughter, how is she doing today? She's doing fantastic. Is she here? She is not here, unfortunately. Oh, man, we would uh, love to have yeah, her Yeah, she, she's, she's That's awesome. awesome. She's, uh, this year, she'll be, uh, this December, she'll be three years cancer-free. Dude, um, that is so, so great. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. Uh, so awesome. But she, unfortunately, So it's been, uh, is it been a breeze? I'm sorry? Has it been a breeze Has in the it last been a breeze? three years? <laughs> no. Well, you you know that. I mean, I mean, just just getting, I mean, you see the, the people here. I mean, this is, this takes a lot of motivation to get people from, you know, under, under, undercover, right? Yeah. Because this has been st uh, st stigmatized for so long to, uh, we, 
So we use we coin we we use this term. Uh, we're creating an environment where um, uh, non-judgmental people can gather in a non-confrontational environment. Yeah. So when you walk through the door here at Canterbury's Experience, everybody's just like you. Yeah. Yeah. I would say and so. so. You know, I, I, I got to tell you, the first couple years, we've been doing this, this is our third season, and I know the first year, even the second year, people were still lighting up in between the cars, they'd go to the parking lot, and I would literally grab them and bring them back into the festival. I said, you, this is why this is here. Don't be afraid. Yeah, yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Right? Yeah, this is good. This is much better. Well, and, you know, in today's world, you know, even High Times Magazine said that, you know, more people are turning to cannabis and alcohol and there's a huge movement shift. And you know, I've always personally expressed the thought and feeling that the reason why there's such a problem with it is it can't be regulated. That person over there with a light bulb from Home Depot could grow cannabis. You know, that you with your entire high end lab facility can grow cannabis. It takes none of this heavy machinery. Now, when you get into the professional side of it and you're actually doing things like you guys are doing, mm -hmm. all that counts. But for the simplest home grower, you can get weed, you know, by, you know, planting it yourself in the windowsill. And my, my, yeah. my mom's, or uh, my wife's mom, did that and it actually i mean it was a small plan but it did work yeah. but you know and i've always you know said you know that's what i hate about this is um personally i've been attacked a bunch of times in different organizations like the cub scouts you know they said i smelled like it and had a problem well it's in the book it says, as long as i don't promote it advertise it use it condone it or express it it's under the same line as alcohol that it doesn't matter what i do before or what i do after mm -hmm. it's just while i'm with the children mm -hmm. And it's the same concept of you going out to dinner, having a beer, and then being the Cub Scout leader for that night and teaching the kids. Yes. You know, and total control of yourself and everything. And I love that in 2019 you guys started because that's two, what, three years prior legalization here in Virginia. So I'm sure, you know, when you guys started, it was probably like watching over your bag. You probably felt like you were guilty and yeah. everything. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you got to dot your I's, yeah. cross your T's. Because uh, you just don't know who's going to show up at the door. Well, especially with the sign on the road that says Canterbury's, 48 well, yeah. miles. <laughs> right. Well, and, I, you know, there's a story behind that as well. It took us, uh, we were denied the first time. Wow, okay. And we had to file an appeal to get those signs put up because we met all of the guidelines. Yeah. But because of what we grew here, which is federally legal in that respect. Yeah. Um, we, we filed an appeal and uh, we were we were accepted. Nice. The signs just went up this year. Well, that is yeah. awesome. Really hope this get here. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? You just, you know, in this industry, you you got to stand up for it. You got to be respectful about yes, it. Yes, yes. And I think one of the things you it. might see here is, you know, this is there's all walks of life here. Yeah, that are enjoying old. that wonderful, amazing plant. Yeah, and I, you know, that's what I find too. Is where's the drama? Where's the indulgence where's the excessiveness that you see with alcohol and, and i love alcohol don't get me wrong i love whiskey i love craft beer don't have anything against it but when i can see signs up and down the street for a brewery who most how do most people get there and how do most people leave there and most people they're going as a couple to to have drinks together not saying anything about that but what i'm saying is it's it's amazing how i can smoke a joint safely get myself home no issue, but hey, that's not okay because it's not okay yet. Right. But come right. to our brewery, have a drink, buy the sample pack, you know, hang out on our front lawn, stay for hours, drink for hours, and then go home. Yep. And that's one thing that we we have conversations about that, especially in Loudoun County, Virginia, which we love Loudoun County, Virginia. Uh, love, L-O-V-E. <laughs> But we, we, we understand that it is it is the brewery, distillery, winery, could be, could be the winer capital of the Virginia. I was just about to say that. Yeah. So we, we have conversations, and most of it is centered around education. That's the perfect and way like, to do like it. Like you were saying, putting things in perspective, uh, and, over, and slowly, you know, we, we have individuals that they're like, I get it. Okay, I get it. And, you know, you have spouses that, one, 
imbibes and uh, appreciates cannabis, and the other one doesn't. Yeah. And so there's nothing wrong with that. And so you have one that maybe is having a maybe a pineapple seltzer with just oh, CBD. There you go. Or you've got you know a, a craft brew a brew uh, that you might maybe you're you're consuming. Um, but they can do it together and feel comfortable doing it. Yeah, and feel like there's a shared space. Just like shared space, I like that. Just like if you can smoke a cigarette, why can't it be a joint? Why does it have to just be tobacco? Especially when we're talking about places of enjoyment. I mean, it's publicized, it's advertised, but yet the public still, maybe, maybe not. You know, and another thing too is um, the fact that when you look at the actual like community of people, like you said, you know, there's all walks of life. And I've met more people who have come into the cannabis industry who are from the addiction side and have left their addictions, whether it's alcohol or harder drugs or whatever, who now rely on cannabis and cannabis only. Like for instance, um, I was in on, I was put on depression and um, anxiety meds. Yep. And honestly, it felt like it made it worse. So now I'm taking myself off and now I'm just smoking all the time and I feel a lot better. I think it works, you know, but it's, but it's in the same content as of alcohol where you drink responsibly, you smoke responsibly. You got to know yourself. You got to know your body. You got to know your environment. Yep. You know, when you put yourself in the correct places, stuff like cannabis can be a magical thing. If you're putting yourself in shady environments, meeting somebody out in the middle of the parking lot at 2 a.m., you know, not going to the dispensary, not going where there's clean cannabis, getting stuff that's mixed with, you know, meth or fentanyl or whatever, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. But when you have companies like you who specialize on CBD and cleanliness and flavor and aroma and overall quality of result, your experiment or your experience is going to open up eyes to anybody. Right, right. Almost, and I, I don't like to use this term, but uh, in a way, le legitimize. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Even though I shouldn't have to do that. Um, and whether it's CBD or whether it's THC or whether it's CBG, uh, the the um, the benefits of um, you know creating the this this environment far outweigh anything that you could you could compare to alcohol if, yeah, we're, if oh, we're talking yeah. about alcohol. And I can tell you um, that experience of I need to move away from alcohol and I move towards cannabis. We see that a lot. And it's it's saved lives. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. It's, it's saved families uh, in, in doing that. Yeah. No, I think that's right. Well, let's wrap it up. Right. I definitely want to get back here. What I would like to do is set up a tour with you or do like a little bit of dirty jobs, go through the facility, sure. talk about everything. You do a lot of great things and kudos to your daughter for beating cancer. That is Thank so you. great because that's everybody's worst nightmare is waking up with that. And as a parent, I'm a parent too. I couldn't imagine the feeling, but kudos to you guys for not only just sitting there twirling your thumbs but taking the action and then sharing that right. experience with the rest of virginia yes and letting them tell your thank story thank you thank you and everything that you guys have done i mean that's what it's all like you said it's all about standing up making people educated hey right. this saved my daughter what could this do for you even if you're not trying to be saved right now you know correct yeah and uh we just felt like it was it was it was it was uh Providential. Yes. It was providential, just the way that the, the 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 progress that we were getting into the cannabis space, and then of course, you know these things that happen that you really you you can't look away from it, and we embraced it. Yeah. And here we are. Well, that's awesome. How can people find you and support you? Sure. Uh, best way is uh, cannabrieshemp.com. Cannabries Hemp. All of our social media platforms are Cannabries Hemp. Very cool. And that's yep. going to make it very uniform. And that's how your social media should be. Uh, but anyways, guys, right we'll see you guys next time at Madman Plant.